Return to Freddy's uh, Winter Wonderland. Now I accidentally pressed the button and got started on the night. So I yes, I will be attempting uh, night five once again. So uh, I'll see you here uh, until I complete the game or something. Hello? What are you doing there? Uh, didn't you hear? You can't be there right now. Uh, it, it happened. Uh, something really bad happened. I knew this dude was going to be uh, uh, Someone found the Frankfurt robot. They must have sold the screen. Please don't go in the back room. Don't even look at the camera. Everything's just gone horribly wrong. The animatronics have been acting erratic. It's almost as if they're angry. Look. You're gonna have to hold out until someone gets you when your shift's over. You're safer staying in your office than trying to leave. And don't show up tomorrow. This place is shut down until further notice. It's Christmas tomorrow anyway. I've gotta go. Good luck and Merry Christmas, okay? Alright, Merry Christmas. So I decided to play the uh, audio just one more time before. Well. Okay, dog is or Doug is still there. Oh, oh no, there's Fred there. Oh no! Wait, did I just see glitch trap? I gotta go back and rewind that because um, I was sort I saw glitch trap. do they get past? Oh, no, I'm dead to Doug. No, I'm dead to both, actually. I don't know how I, how I was lucky there. Holy moly. I, I noticed Doug was gone, but at the same time, like, how did that? Oh, okay, they were pretty. Okay, it's gone now. Holy moly! Uh, uh, Doug. Somebody is down in the middle of the hallway. Okay, that's just. Generator, yes, reboot. Doug, okay. So good. Don't want to jinx, jinx myself, so try not to do that. Okay. 
Okay, so I like how Foxy comes like after. Oh wait, you were there at two places at once, Foxy. But I like how I like how we just say. I like how Foxy comes after uh, the animatronics are are gone. So it's not like oh they're at the same time and oh my gosh that scared me to death. But it's not like. Oh, they're there at the same time, and now I'm gonna die. Because Antrax both got me at the same time. Or something like that. Other than, uh, like, you the usual, like, spam the flashlight at him, you just gotta, like, tap it if he's in one of the other halls or something. And, uh, it's kind of weird how, like, uh, like, in FNAF VR, uh, you have to hold the light on Foxy, or you could spam it if you want. Either way, in FNAF VR, but it's kind of weird how uh, it lets you just hold it. I mean, there is no battery percentage for the flashlight in the earth, so I guess it's all right. Okay. Okay. Night six is finished. Five. Right. I meant six a.m. Anyways, right, let's go ahead and continue. Forget to wind the music box. Yes, I already have done that before, so. Oh. What the? Oh, there's a. Oh no, there's a snowstorm? Oh no, we're just blockaded by a bunch of snow. What? What's going on? Hang on, I'll move my mouse. Oh. Spray body. Oh, this is cool. I like how... I like how... I like that. That is amazing. Okay. That was awesome. Nice work. I love the how Spring Bonnie just moved around. That was cool. Anyway, oh. What's up with the nice? Why is everything all gray? Spring, uh, glitch, oh my gosh, Spring Bonnie looks like glitch trap. Okay, uh, Shadow Lockjaw is gone. Oh no, I died. What? What? Wait, what happened? I died. Huh? Hold up, I need to try that again. What was it, night six? Yeah. So, even I already, wait, Doug disappeared, so I'm like, wait, what happened to him? Also, are they gonna need me to use the mask? 
Oh no, that's Fredbear, not Doug or Spring Bonnie or something. So like, are they kind of like entered in Spring Bonnie or whatsoever? That will just attack you? Oh no. Okay, he's gone. Alright. Oh, what? Spring Bonnie. What? How did I die? Oh, wait. Is there like a certain pattern? So, like, if Spring Bonnie is on one side, maybe. Hold up, I gotta figure out their patterns now. This is so cool. I swear. Wait, why is Joaquin going? What? what? Oh, I like how... I really love the Glitch Trap reference in, um... In Spring Bonnie, because it's like... It's like... Shh, like the thing that, uh... Uh, glitch trap does or whatever. Oh no. Come on. Five Nights at Candies kind of thing, where the animatronics are like, oh, hey, it's, uh, uh, candy, well, Five Nights at Candies 2 tour goes from, uh, the originals, and now it's the, the old, old animatronics or something from the past. This is just really cool. I really love this. scare the crap out of me. That weird uh, thing where whenever an animatronic moves, gets me. Okay. I really love. I want. I want to save this as a as a uh, thumbnail. Yes. How come I can't use my mask? Oh no. Uh, 
was this on purpose? This has to be on purpose. Holy. What? No. Dang it. No, it wasn't on purpose. At least I got a further jump scare. I'm gonna try and make a good thumbnail for this. What? Wait. Hold up. 6 a.m. But why didn't it end? What did I do wrong? The puppet. What's happening? What's happening? Oh my. Farewell. This is no, not farewell, but nice job. Nice one. Good job, Sus Lord. You made a very good game. This was amazing, and I really enjoyed this game. And please, I would love to see more of this. This was a very good experience I had with the game, and whenever I just pull, started playing this game, this game was like, wow. And I'm like, just wow. Good job, uh, Maritza. Good job, everyone in these credits. I this was a very well-made game, and you know what? This was amazing, and thank you very much for giving me a very cool game and others to play. Now, especially with. All the effort that went into this. I mean, it's a pretty big team, but it... dang, this is cool. F thank you for your continued patience and believing in us. We wouldn't be here without your support. You are very welcome, and you know what? This was one of the greatest games I've played. One of the, uh,
Dog the Dog is part of the two new animatronics as part of the Faz of Fazbear Entertainment toy lineup. He and Sugar share a can be seen in a store window in Overworld as a plushie. Oh wait, I did not know that.
by new character modelers, Sprite artist Marissa, aka as known as the fan game The Fangs of World Wolf. Oh yeah, I remember the Uh, hi, I'm Suslord, or, uh, the director of, uh, Winter Wonderland. This game was probably the most ambitious project I've ever worked on, and it was pretty much an amazing experience. I, first of all, uh, well, let me start from the beginning. Uh, when the game started, it was being made by Blackboy74. Uh, him and a couple of friends of his were pretty much trying to remake the Return to Freddy's, uh, too. And it was pretty much in development hell. No one was motivated and actually wanted to work on the game. Team members kept quitting. So he shelved the game, but uh, Maximum Elevapor, uh, who was this game's uh, project manager and uh, co-director, he uh, was talking to me in a Discord call about the um, uh, uh, cancelled 2R, and he was just mentioning how it was cool. And out of the blue, I had no rhyme or reason. I just was like, ah, I'll, I'll try to finish the game. Because from what I had heard, pretty much everything had been rendered, and it just wasn't finished being programmed. And as a programmer by trade, I was like, okay, I'll finish the game's code and we can release it. I looked at the old game's graphics, and I thought they were awful. <laughs> like, like, just completely being honest, I did not like the way they looked. So, uh, me, Nomoke, uh, Tech Owl at the time, Vapor, and some other friends... We made a group chat, and our plan was, alright, we're gonna remodel the characters, re-render the rooms, 
program it and call it a day. And as time went on, like you, you've played the game. There's a lot more than that. We added all the repair sections. We added the overworld. We added the cutscenes. It was the, the, the game started as a small idea and just expanded into something much, much bigger. But through the game, I met amazing people. Before the game started, I had no clue who Marissa was, who's now one of my best friends. I wasn't too close to Nomo K and Ivan Nugget, and again, through the game, I became close friends with them. Uh, as someone who's going to college for video game design, I learned a ton of just useful information to use, and honestly, I I don't think I'm ever going to have an experience or game like Winter Wonderland, but the fact that I did get to have it is just amazing, and it's an experience I would never give up for the world. And also, the reception that, like, the game's gotten from, just, like, fans and people excited for it. It's the first time I think I've ever had hype built up for a game I'm making, and, like, people looking forward to teasers, because we did teasers for this game, and I absolutely love teasers, so that was just a great thing we got to do. And, uh, as just a fan of the Return to Freddy's, it's, I, I've been following the Return to Freddy's game since 2000. 15, maybe even 14, like, I loved the series, and I loved what I was able to do and contribute with it. As you may have heard by now, we are planning on making a sequel to this game, and I just want to say thank you for your support, and I'll see you then. A sequel? Okay, so that'd be either Return of Phrase 3 or the Return of Phrase 1, because storyline-wise, um, the Return of Phrase 1 comes after... Return of Phrase 2, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's the floor that uh, the graphics were bad, or well, because they were good for their time, but uh, I kind of, but that's the overall thing about bad graphics, uh, Sus Lord. It, it, it just shows, it gives the characters more creepy and uh, scary environment, but these models in this game were a lot more scary. Hi, welcome to my developer insight for the Return to Freddy's 2 Winter Wonderland. I'm the lead modeler of the game. I was contacted by my friend Nomok or Namoke. He asked me if I wanted to be the modeler of this game because Susslord was looking for a modeler. I modeled Bonnie first, then Chica, then Foxy, and then Freddy in that specific order. I left Freddy for last because the team did not know what we wanted for Freddy to look like. We eventually settled on making him look like he was from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I eventually got around to modeling Sugar and Doug. Sugar was the more difficult one to come across. According to Maximum and Elevator and Susslord, they originally wanted to leave Sugar out of the game, but I didn't want to see the character go to waste, so I decided to ask if I could redesign her. I went into my art program Clip Studio Paint and started sketching out something that looked a bit more original. Sugar was planned to wear a sun hat, but it was quickly scrapped due to everyone not liking it that much. After I was done redesigning Sugar, I had Spring Bonnie and Fredbear left to model. Lockjaw and Fredbear were already modeled by two other people. Lockjaw was already modeled by Namoke way early on in development before I started working on Bonnie. Fredbear's model was made by TechOwl before he left the team and internet, but because of the models looking different from my own style, Susslord requested me to edit the models to look more in tone with mine. After I finished the models, I eventually started spriting things for the overworld. Nomok was originally in charge of doing the overworld, but because Susslord knew I had spriting skills in the past, he asked me to see if I could do it instead. The overworld at least took three weeks to finish, but because I decided to do it in all one image instead of doing it with tiling instead, it eventually made the process a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Susword eventually wanted me to do the Night 6 cutscenes because he got lazy and he knew I also animated in Source Filmmaker at one point, so I eventually animated Spring Body getting up in that specific cutscene. Afterwards, the team decided that the animations of the animatronics being in front of your desk in the office didn't really look that nice, so I suggested that I can reanimate them and pose them in a nicer way. 
The last thing I did for this game was animate Lockjaw's jump scare in the Lockjaw repair part of the game. And that's a wrap for my developer commentary. If you're interested in any other projects that I do, follow me on Affordable Puns on Twitter.com and the Thanks of Wolf at GameShop.com. Also, trans rights are human rights. <laughs> Okay, Marissa, uh, your game, this, you made the game look really good, I gotta say. Good job on the modeling. Also, uh, I just wanted to say that um, uh, your older game back then, Finance of Fangs, was a really good game. And I enjoyed that back in 2016 when I was, like, way younger. But, yeah, but good job on uh, the game. Hi, uh, I'm Maximum of Elevator, and I was the second in command and project manager for Winter Wonderland. I have a bit of history with this game, as this initially began as a revival of Black Boy 74's The Return to Freddy's 2 rebooted, and I was part of the original team. Sometime after 2 hours cancellation, I was talking with Suslord about it one day in a Discord call when he out of the blue decided to form Luminance Productions and bring the game back. I rendered just about everything for the main game, plus the cutscenes, and made sure the other team members got their tasks done, like in Among Us. That's all I have to say. Good job, uh, Maximum Elevator, for handling the team and stuff. Uh, Hello, Tuesday? I am Toonster Games, and this is my developer insight for the Return to Freddy's 2 Winter Wonderland. I was originally working on this project starting back when it was called The Return to Freddy's 2 Rebooted. I was very interested in this remake of the game due to it staying rather true to how the original style of the game was, but looking much better at the same time. I was a beta tester for 2R and I was really liking the progress shown for it. I thought it looked really good. And I was really saddened to see that it got cancelled because I felt it was one of the best remakes of the game that I've seen out there and it was a shame that it ended up the way it did. Fast forward a few months later and I met up with Suslord and his crew. And one night during a call we were talking about the cancelled 2R. And then we thought, well, why not bring it back? And that's how it all started. Uh, and I, that's how I began working on Winter Wonderland with everybody. I'm very proud of what the team has accomplished with this game. I think a lot of what they've done together is really good. A lot of the assets everybody's made is like really talented. They're all they're all very equally talented people, and you know they've all been really great and fun to work with. And I'm glad that they uh, did this game right. TRT of two, I've always had a very soft spot for, as it was the reason I originally joined Game Jolt, as I wanted to follow the game and stay up to date with it. And because of that, it's the reason I essentially got into making fan games. And I wanted to, like, see someone try to make something right with a revival of this game. I hope you enjoyed this game. I had a lot of fun working on this with everybody. And I think they all hope that you had fun with it, too. Now I'm being held at gunpoint by Susslord to say this, so... We fly high. No lie. You know it. Ballin'. Uh, that's all I gotta say. Go check out everybody else's developer insight, or better yet, go check out the rest of this menu that isn't just a ripoff of the Six Horrors 2 one. That's about it. Thanks for listening. See you later. Peace out, home dog. Wait, so you were the main developer of Thieve Knees at Bleeze Cleese? I saw a Markiplier play that. Also, I hope Susslor doesn't shoot you with a gun. That would be Hello, very bad. Okay. And I worked on Winter Wonderland as a minor modeler, sprite artist, and I also made this really cool extras menu. When Susslord originally restarted this project, I had decided to decline the offer of making all the models, since I was pretty busy with some other projects at the time. Instead, I had recommended my buddy Marissa to Susslord, so she could do the models instead. Although there were some models I did want to do. Those were Freddy and Lockjaw, since those are the big bad TRTF mascots. While I made Lockjaw, I was given the reference to base it off the early versions of him from Tier TF2, 3, and 4 with some elements of Tier TF5 Lockjaw in there. I decided to make him look more realistic in some areas by giving him a suit with a bow tie instead of just some blue shirt with some buttons. I had also decided to give him a hyper-realistic fedora based off one I made for a certain Scatman John model 
With Freddy, I was going to pitch a older Freddy Hang model on. I had made for a different Sorry. project with some adjustments, but later on Marissa just decided to make a whole new one. Along with making a new Freddy model, she had also improved upon my Lockjaw model by making it look more like a ventriloquist doll named Frankfurt Burton instead of some weird man with tetanus. Spreading-wise was pretty similar, where I had made a rough layout of how things were going to look and then Marissa heavily improved upon them. With the extras menu, though, it was a completely different story. I immediately took the opportunity to make it, since the original version of TRTF2R that Black Boy was making straight up ripped off the extras menu I made for 6 hours too, and I felt that there were some things I could improve upon. My goal was to finish it in a weekend, but that didn't happen whatsoever. I underestimated what I had to do for it, especially this audio player. With some personal issues also taking my time away from working on this, it took about roughly two weeks for me to finish the extras menu. I would say that to me, it is a huge improvement to the previous menu that I had made before, and it's overall pretty cool, and I hope you agree. And with that, that has been my insight for what I had worked on for the Return to Freddy's 2 Winter Wonderland. Well, good job on the menus and stuff, dude. Uh, anyways, I like how Ivan and them are both. Hello, Tier TF fans. Uh, I love the my art. My name for is the... Ivan. Ivan Nugget. Wait, I just want to say, um, I like the art for the uh, little people in it. It's cute. On the, as a, that's my username on the internet. And and as you read from the description, I made some of those games and helped creating them. I also helped create other games that are made by other people that are more popular than me. I enjoyed working on uh, Winter Wonderland with uh, everybody, the whole team are great people, uh, really nice friends, you know. Um, I enjoyed working on the voice lines that I did for the game. That's all I gotta say. Peace off. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Uh... Hello, Winsomous. my name is Winsomeless. I animated most of Winter Wonderland's jump scares and programmed the entirety of Classic Mode. When I was initially put on to the Winter Wonderland team, I was supposed to have a much more minor role than I have now. Uh, if I remember correctly, I did renders for the game page, the um, initial teasers, banner. Of course, as the game went along, uh, plans got much bigger, and I ended up animating uh, a lot, like jump scares and 360 renders of the animatronics that you can see right here on the extras menu. And then, of course, classic mode. Overall, I'm very proud of what the final product of this game came to be. I hope you guys liked it too. And I'm very honored that I got to work alongside such a great team of many other talented people. Well, good job for um, doing what again? I don't know, whatever. Hi, my Who's name him? is Brian, and I work as the environmental modeler and cutscene creator on this version of DRTF2. When I first started working on this project, I was tasked with creating an environment that not only had an identity of its own, but also reflected the original design of TRTF2. To fulfill the requirements set by this note, I decided to have the game take place in a building heavily under construction, with a winter theme attached to it. I left no concept arts to base the environment on, so everything you see in the game was completely designed by me. To make Matthews more interesting, I made this entire map for an older version of this project, directed by Blackboy74. As most of you already know, that version got cancelled for quite a few reasons, so for a while I thought that this map would never see the light of day. That all changed when one of the old team members contacted me, because he and some of his friends, or old team members, wanted to continue working on this project. When I joined this new team, I've updated the lighting of this gigantic map and even added a few new props to make the scene look even more appealing. Turns out, creating a realistic looking cutscene is an incredibly difficult job. Not only did I have to worry about multiple wind, rain and lightning simulations, I also had to make sure that the scene was optimized enough so that we don't have to pay for a render farm. I had to learn quite a few new techniques that I'm quite thankful for, and I can't wait to use them for my future projects. Alright.
literally anything. Lee Suslord, he's angry now. Uh, he's stabbing him. Uh, Sam, the dancing funny man, it removed maximum. Oh. Why, though? <laughs> um, anyways, there you go. More, and that's about it. There. Replayable content. Intro cinematic. Restaurant escape. Generator repair. Frank Burt repair. Ending cinematic. Alright. Cheats. Radar. Fast Nights. Insanity. Music box speed. Generator outages. Oh. Alright. And there's a custom night as well. Alright. Okay, this is cool. Alright, now I'm gonna uh, end this video here. Unless there's something else, like. Such as. Hold up. They're like. Oh, night seven? No, I didn't want to. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, anyways. Okay, I accidentally did that. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, so like, I'm gonna end this video here, but I feel that there's a lot of things missing, such as like, I missed a lot of things. I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, other than that, um, I'm gonna end this video here, and I might do another video on this if there's like another ending or something in the night six, because. For some reason, once Shadow Lockjaw gets you, you, you're just gone, I think. I don't know, but... Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here, guys. If you guys liked it, uh, please leave a like. Please leave a like down below, and subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.